All right, we're going to be talking about uh, validating ideas. In fact, rapid idea validation. A couple of things you need is, first off, you require a good mascot, like a, like a wild, uh, this is a wild jungle poodle, very rare. Uh, if you've seen the gorillas in the mist, this is uh, one of the poodles out of the mist. And you require a bunch of books and your bookshelf and, of course, a big tall glass of chocolate bliss. I'm going to run through uh, some of my favorite uh, idea validation systems because really the, um, the, the level of your income really relates to how rapidly you can validate ideas to figure out which ones uh, work, which ones fail, and uh, keep the ones that work and go ahead and build those out and drop the ones that don't. So the um, first thing I'm going to show you here is... Um, my uh, meetup group. Now meetups really interesting. It's very different than Facebook because people on meetup tend to physically gather together and you notice I started this meetup group in 2005 uh, and there are uh, 1509 members uh, on this group that I run and um, so the thing about uh, uh, meetup is uh, in fact let's go look at meetup here and in the uh, Austin zip code, let's see how many meetups there are. Um, explore meetups within 25 miles. And you know that meetup keeps uh, changing their interface here. You can do it, meetup. Come on. Hey, take a look at this. Um, there's um, give you an idea of the all the ra random meetup groups. Um, um, there's 4,235 stand-up paddlers. Uh, 2871 Austin, Austin, Austin. I'm young, social, 20s and 30s fun. And you can scroll on down here. There's a lot of, um, no, I guess this is the one I organized. They're trying to get me to, oh, no, they're trying to get me to start a new meetup group. Anyway, you can go through here and, uh, take a look at all the, Oh, they changed the... So every day meetup changes. That's interesting. So I'm going to make a note to go through here. So the thing about meetup is that I primarily was uh, drawing your attention to, I'm going to put this over here to research it in a minute, is the thing about rapidly validating uh, ideas, notice I found this in 2005, is if you build up a list of uh, true fans, uh, you can Google the topic a thousand true fans. Now this is different than Facebook fans. Facebook fans aren't really fans. They're just, you know, a crowd of unwashed masses which aren't really good for much of anything. Uh, true fans are people that are kin. Um, they're people that you have a relationship with in such a way that uh, your relationship can never be uh, uh, disrupted. It's con continuous and consistent. So 1,509 people, uh, that's a large enough group that, um, I don't know why it's trying to do a link. So this is a large enough group of people here that I can send out an email and I can rapidly validate if an idea is useful or not. Because, you know, if I send an email of 1,500 people that are my true fans and nothing happens, that's a flop and move on. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the next um, uh, great way to validate ideas is to write for magazines. Uh, because when you write for a magazine, you have to put in a an article. Um, I've got some special effects here. Uh, you got to put in an article submission. So here's a Feedfront, which is the magazine that uh, Sean Collins at Affiliate Summit uh, writes or edits. And let's see. Uh, oh, if you're interested in writing, uh, watch out for the next announcement on Feedfront. Um, so, in other words, submissions are closed right now. And I put in a uh, article about. Um, um, in the coming feed front, it's, uh, I'm going to have an article in there that's uh, called uh, Crazy Fast Websites, which are some of the checklists I do for creating five to 10,000 requests a second WordPress sites. 
So if you put in a submission to a magazine and you immediately get picked up, then that's a really quick uh, way to validate. And also when you publish, this is going to go out to thousands of people. So for example, um, uh, Feedfront goes out to, I think, Sean Prince between 15 and 20,000 uh, copies. And um, uh, Dean Rothbart uh, just came online there. Uh, so, ten, you know, 10 to 15,000 uh, copies of a magazine that go to 10 to 15,000 people that uh, might be potential clients for you. All right, let's, uh, let's move on here. Uh, the, the third uh, validation system is a YouTube channel. Now, here's a, here's a, a YouTube channel that I've been uh, using for years here. And it's got all sorts of uh, random uh, topics. Uh, here's the talk I gave at Affiliate Summit uh, on direct traffic magic of uh, Google Proof SEO. Um, here's a, a talk that um, uh, Yamaya and Bob Stevens gave about decreeing Bob Stevens on conscious language. Meetup group construction kit. Uh, deal, uh, orphan meetup group optimization. Uh, walks through our kitchen and recipes, me making chocolate bliss. Um, here's some health videos, Health Happens by Habit, Kicking Depression the Easy Way. Uh, here's a uh, talk I did with uh, the the uh, uh, proprietor of Beats Cafe in Austin, uh, Austin's premier raw food restaurant. Here's Direct, Tra Direct Traffic Magic v uh, version 1, which is just an ad hoc talk I gave that uh, created so much um, conversation around that I um, created this version too that's a uh, more condensed a uh, little bit more crafted uh, conversation anyway you can go on down here um, uh, here's the most stolen video I've got uh, the Huram juicer versus uh, Omega R uh, VRT um, here's a here's a video of Yamaya opening durians there's one of me talking about uh, balloon sinoplasty, which is putting balloons up your nose and chiropractically adjusting your sinuses from the inside out. Uh, recipes, uh, you know, all sorts of just random topics. So you can put uh, videos up and you know you can put some sort of uh, tagline in the description of the video to uh, uh, run people to a simple Google Docs uh, application, uh, which I guess I ought to show here. Um, Let's let's take a look at uh, uh, wetware hacking. Uh oh, uh, I've got a domain down. That's uh, that's no good. Uh, uh, that means that inside track party is probably down too, which means that I got a little work to do here. Yep. Um, so I can't show you a Google Doc. Um, I'll have to go and fix that. Um, Basically, it's just a really simple ghetto Google Doc of um, uh, asking people a few questions about things. And so you can just put that in your description of your YouTube video. And if people were willing to uh, fill out a, um, you know, a simple Google Docs form to be updated on um, uh, more information around the topic or to be considered for a free consulting session, uh, or to be considered for a paid gig. Uh, that's a really good way to validate. So what you can do is instead of um, uh, going out to um, uh, Craigslist or someplace like that, you can go into your own list and say um, uh, you have to fill out an application to be considered to um, attend or participate in a particular activity. Uh, here's another good um, validation venue uh, affiliate summit uh, and you can use uh, any type of uh, speaker conference uh, this is a well this is where the speaker proposal is going to be uh, put up when it's uh, available it says coming soon so probably in about uh, four to six weeks this page will open up to where you can put in a speaker proposal to speak at affiliate summit west now the way this works is when you put in a speaker proposal for Affiliate Summit, the speaker proposal goes to the um, editorial board first or the conference board. And if the board finds your topic so interesting, they'll just uh, allow you to uh, be added to the speaker uh, roster, which is what happened to me in Austin when I um, 
put in my proposal for direct traffic magic. Um, if the board members aren't all that impressed, then it'll go to the community for a vote. And if the community votes on it, then the, you're accepted as a speaker and you end up on the roster now. This is really interesting, too, because, you know, it'll cost you, you know, a, maybe a grand or two for your plane tickets and uh, accommodations to go speak. Except, you know, you're in a, uh, a, a, a channel, which is a collection of people or a tribe that have paid between a thousand to two thousand dollars to attend and there's you know four to five to six thousand of those people so you know that's a pretty good place to validate um, a two, two sort of a two-phase validation one is um, uh, will your topic make into a, um, a speaking engagement in other words is it uh, impressive enough to actually get uh, accepted uh, your proposal to speak and second off once you end up in a room you can do soft pitches like you know if you'd like to find out more about this thing uh, Google something and you give them a term just make sure your uh, term can is Googleable so for example if I go to Google here and I'm speaking in a talk and I say something about uh, radical health uh, you know make sure that you know you're number one uh, or um, wetware hacking uh, and I'm number three here or uh, let's see uh, inside track party is my big meetup group so you know it looks like most of those uh, top links are mine uh, and also make sure that your name like my name David Favor I mean I own the first you know several pages of uh, uh, Google for my name so when uh, you know make sure that your topic when you're you're speaking and um, also um, I'll do one more um, um, thing that there's no link for here uh, that we'll talk about networking introductions uh, make sure that when you're speaking or giving network introductions that you give people um, what are called brandable chunks uh, informational uh, snippets that stick in people's brains so that the uh, you know, while they're taking notes or they walk out of the room afterwards, they have something they can go and Google. So if you tell them to Google, you know, uh, find you at uh, um, Best Business Directory Ventures, you know, they'll never find that because it's too complicated to remember and there's no uniqueness to it. Wetware hacking is unique. Inside Track Party is unique. Radical Health is unique. My name, David Favor, is unique for those that uh, are interested in um, tracking me. Uh, so let's talk just quickly about networking uh, introductions. Whenever you stand up in a networking group and introduce yourself, most people, you know, it's like a freaking 12-step program. Hi, my name's David. Um, you know, I sell some stupid product that nobody gives up, you know, rats about. Anyway, the other way that you can give an introduction is using what's called an audio logo, which uh, Lynn Shirell was the person that um, uh, first acquainted me with that term, and it's pretty a it's a pretty slick uh, sort of gizmo, and she was doing them in one way, and I took it to a next step, which is basically um, uh, using the ADA formula, A I D A, and also uh, making sure that. Uh, uh, you know, people are always tuned into WIFM, what's in it for me, radio, uh, making sure that it meets that criteria. So, for example, if you're um, giving an introduction, uh, like if I was giving an introduction and I was desiring to promote my superfood company, uh, Sunfire Superfoods or Radical Health, I might say something like, um, Oh, uh, well, if you imagine you might enjoy, you know, living at continuous peak energy, mood, and attitude, you know, and you're firmly convinced that uh, chocolate is the only real food group, then, uh, you know, be in touch with me and I can hook you up with the real deal. And then I start to sit down. Notice I've never used the word I. I've never even said my name. As I'm sitting down, I sit down and then I sort of half stand up and say, oh, yeah, and by the way, my name's David. Nobody cares what my name is. Nobody cares what I do. They're only in, uh, interested in what's in it for me, and it better darn well be unique and benefit-centric. So um, let's go on to my um, uh, last uh, little resource here, uh, which is um, uh, this is a video for uh, my um, 
uh, direct traffic also. magic uh, talk and you know let's see if I can well you know I probably don't really have to find it here uh, although it's probably way at the end anyway there's this there's a particular way that I use uh, uh, meetup to um, validate ideas and this is this is really really powerful to do is uh, meetup I use in sort of a three phase uh, mechanism or a three phase or three stages uh, and the the big powerful thing about meetup is it allows you to cut through noise uh, to reach uh, highly qualified pre-focus groups or channels uh, also allows you to speak to practice your craft of writing and speaking and allows you to do rapid uh, traffic building and the way that I use Meetup is, um, let's see if I can find, come on, you can do it. Okay, here's the, here's the, um, the stages, or the phases. So phase one of using Meetup is you attend Meetup groups. You go and search in Meetup for uh, groups that match your uh, niche or topic or category, however you um, define that or translate that and you attend those groups and you build a relationship with the organizers and the attendees and be sure you use audio logos for your uh, networking um, and uh, introductions uh, also ask people interesting questions like uh, you know what's um, you know what uh, interesting business project you're working on these days or what's the most interesting uh, you know random unique thing that you've heard somebody say recently uh, those are good questions, uh, conversation starters. Another one is, uh, you know, what uh, if you were speaking to a graduating class of uh, uh, high school seniors or college seniors, what advice uh, would you give them? So, you know, just uh, interesting things that will get people uh, sharing what they're most interested in. Phase two is you speak. So, you know, you leverage your phase one, or this leverages your phase one relationships into speaking engagements. So as you're talking with organizers and attendees, you talk with them about speaking at their groups. One of the most effective ways to uh, communicate to a, uh, a group organizer you're available for speaking without hard pitching them, so this is a soft pitch for you to speak for a group, is what you say is, um, Oh, look, I really love your group. I've been coming for a while and um, I like the vibe of the people and how you're, uh, you know, organizing your group. And, you know, if you ever uh, if, uh, if you ever end up um, in a jam where you lose a speaker, um, be sure and add me to your backup speaker list. And, you know, they'll freaking glaze over because uh, very few people even have a backup speaker list, much less even know what it is. And you can go on to explain, well, the backup speaker list is just, I'll give you my hotline, which is a phone number or contact uh, mechanism people can get to you all the time. And, you know, if you end up um, with a speaker that cancels either for a live event or a, um, you know, face-to-face -face event or a webinar or teleclass, whatever, you know, just give me a call. And if I'm available, you know, I can be on the line and or, you know, be on the line in five minutes or if it's a, a live physical event someplace if I'm in the city I can you know be there in half an hour an hour you know depending on my schedule and uh, I've ended up speaking with a lot of uh, large groups over the years because I'm available as a backup speaker but you gotta tell them uh, otherwise uh, the only way that people know anything is you tell them and then phase three is you organize your own groups which goes back to that inside track party meetup that I've got going had going since 05 because if you organize your own group and you um, uh, collect that together, it, it, meetup groups are very different than mailing lists because, you know, mailing lists, you may have no um, opportunity ever to connect with a person in the physical. Uh, and a meetup group, uh, people are more inclined to actually show up and, um, you know, physically interact. So let's see, I'm running down my um, list of things here, and I, I think that's a good... Uh, good set of rapid val uh, idea val validation tools that you can use and uh, if you come up with another really good uh, rapid validation tool uh, let me know oh one last one is of course um, uh, to go into uh, big channels and uh, pitch your idea big channels would be like um, uh, AppSumo or uh, eWomen's Network or the Direct Selling Association or uh, 
uh, you know, any any channel that has a uh, collection of people where you can, in essence, cut through the noise, like with Meetup. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for our uh, rapid idea validation um, machine today.